Hello everyone and welcome to Guns of the Cars. Now all we're gonna be doing today is well, finding a good ship. There you have well my favorites, but I'm gonna see if I can find what my most favorite is. Right now there's a few sh ships I'm they're all my favorite. I don't know which ones, but I'm gonna experiment around with them and see which one's my favorite. Okay, and here we are. All started. I'm just gonna be doing practice. So I don't want to do online matches, so I know which ship I'm gonna, I like most, and I can try it out online. But and I'm gonna rate. I'm gonna go through each ship, and um, I'm starting the pyramid, and I'm gonna rate each one nine to ten. So that's what I think of them. You might think differently. And I'm just gonna like. I'm gonna do the actual ship, like the placement and how fast it is, not all the weapons on it, because the weapons you can choose. I'll go to the weapons differently. And... Let's get started. I know, Pyramidian, okay. It's up front, not in the back. Pyramidian, I know I really like. Just because I always do pilot. And guns of the car, so if you, if you never do pilot, I don't know, it's just, it's never as fun if, if you just do engineer. Or gunner or something. I think pilot's the most fun. And though engineer's more of the most important, and gunner's important. But always as a pilot, usually why I like the ship, more ships like this, is because they do better at ramming. And as a pilot in this game, whatever, I always like ramming, because I feel like I can actually do something. And this ship does a lot in ramming. And it's turning is, um, pretty good. And I believe its speed is awesome. And that, and that's why it, like, rams really good too. And something I really like is that there's, um, two gun spots right above you. And, like, there's usually gonna be someone up there. Especially if you're actually facing your target. And there's balloons right there if you ever need them repaired. And then you'll probably have engineers down here with the whole engine. And any guns or whatever. Now the one thing is, is um, it's only um, your right side is kind of the weakest because there's no turret in there. So that's one thing that I don't like about most ships is most of them are uneven and you prefer to them be even so any side you face is good. Alright, and I'll be back after I test this a little bit more. And welcome back. Right, so I've just been fooling around for a bit. And uh, I'm not going to be basing this just off of like what it says, like maneuverability and armor. I'm going to be basing off of how well it feels, at least to me. And I'm going to give the Pyramidian an 8 out of 10, because I do really like it. And since I ram a lot, it's um, I ram, uh, just pretty, pretty good for that. <laughs> you get, well, you can at least one hit the target then least most of the time. Um, Bigger ships usually can't one hit, but it does do quite a bit of damage to at least their balloons. And, um, turning is actually, I don't know, turning I believe is pretty good. Especially, um, it's more of a small ship, I guess. For, like, faster speed. But, like, bigger ships would be, like, taking a while to turn around. And, of course, the ramming, um, the reason it wouldn't be, like, 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10 is, you know, you don't have to turn on the right side, so you have one weak spot. The back I usually, or back turrets I don't usually care about because I don't usually ever use them. You know, they are kind of meant to have. And it's, I do like how everything's placed. Like, you would have engineers sitting there, like, down there on the engines. You could hit all three engines at once. And, um, you can also hit the hull, so let's move on to the next ship. Okay, and here we are again. Now we are on the galleon, I believe it is. Yes, this is the galleon. And, um, just loaded up this map. I'm gonna take a look around real quick, and I'll be back with the score, and saying why or why not, it's good. And I'm back. So, I've just done a short bit of flying around and experimenting, and of course the, ob the obvious good things is, it's a huge ship, and so you have a ton of guns on it, both on, or on both sides, uh, don't believe on the front, actually let me check that. Yeah, no, none on the front. But it's really good on the sides. It's like a 
and there's also that one extra on the back. It's more like a regular pirate ship, just instead of sails it has giant balloons and technology, but that's the obvious good thing. The other one is it has pretty good hull. Alright, and then, you know, this is just right down here. Even the pilot could, like, if the hull gets damaged, just run down real quick and hit it if you're not in immediate danger. Same with balloons. So, like, if there's a huge problem, like, you're falling out of the sky, obviously you can't very much go anywhere. You kind of don't want to hit the ground, so you can just turn around and hit that and then hop back on. Which is very nice, or just run down here for the hole for any reason. And then the bad part is very um, bad maneuverability, because it's, I believe, the biggest ship. Or the, the hardest, the hardest uh, maneuver ship, of course, but... Yeah, and the other one is the engines are kind of at an awkward angle. Don't believe, I haven't been able to hit this that one up there. Like, you'd have to be down here hitting these two and run up, which isn't the most fast, like, fast repair or whatever. But it's still pretty good, so I'm going to give this ship overall a uh, 7 out of 10. Like, uh, it's a really good ship. Of course, um, also this extra turret right here, but um, it is a really good ship. It's just a little bit hard to maneuver, and it's... It is a, a bigger ship, so it does have pretty good firepower, but the engines are a little bit at awkward angle. But if you have no, if you have people that know what they're doing, it's probably going to be probably a 9 out of 10 or even a 10 out of 10 ship. So there you go, and I'm going to move on. And we are back with the new ship. This is the Squid. And I believe this is one of the ones I didn't like as much. It is a pretty neat ship, just it's very easy to get around in this one just everything everything's in reach very easily just one thing especially if you if you really really want it to be even the steering wheel is on the left side but that doesn't really affect the actual ship it's just it, it could drive you crazy having like oh god it's being on the left side not in the center like um I believe every other ship is but that really doesn't affect how good this um, actual ship is. Um, one thing though is, again, this is I believe another, yes, uh, another uneven ship. It only has um, on the front, on the back, and on the right, so your left side is weak again. And um, the, see the engines. I believe the engines are pretty nifty. And they're pretty easy to reach too. And it says it's very easy to reach. Um, I'm going to do some more experimenting of how it actually flies and then I'll give you a score. I'll be right back. And I'm back. And a little bit of flying around and the first thing to note, which so far is the best part about this, is it's very maneuverable. Come on, the max speed and it turns very well. Um, max, uh, the max speed itself is um, pretty good because it is a small ship. And um, besides the missing turret, I think I'm actually going to give this one a 9 out of 10, even though I don't know if I would choose this ship because I'm pretty sure in the, like, this is just practice, I'm writing it in the practice match, how maneuverable it is itself. And I'm pretty sure in an online match, you have to have people that really know what they're doing. Because you don't have a whole lot of firepower in the ship, and I'm pretty sure it can die pretty easily. But the one advantage you will have in online is, if you're fighting a big ship, you can just zoom all around it, and, and they, they can barely turn. So, I'm going to move on, and there you go. And I'm back. Now, the next ship, which is what we're on, is the Junker. Now, um, I haven't really ever done this one in online. I've, um, only done it in practice, and that's one for a bit. So this is more of a new ship for me. Now, one thing I can say, it is kind of a nice layout, just the way it is. Maybe it's not necessarily the easiest to get to, it's just kind of neat how the ship is laid out, but um... One thing I noticed is it's bounced on the 
right and left, how there's two on the left and two on the right, and one on the front. And of course there's none on the back, but what I find is back is the one you use the least, so that one's usually the one I worry about, or least about having. Now, um, one really bad thing about this layout is the back engine and the side engines are a little bit separated, but it's it's not too bad to get to, especially if we have, um, you, you might actually have someone up here in this general area, like on the top deck, but someone closer to the bottom of your repairing. So this one you need, you don't need a, like a really good crew, you just need to know people that aren't brand new to the game, or have people that aren't brand new to the game, because if someone's brand new to the game, they might just be sitting here like, Oh, this is gone. So, you might not have the best flying capabilities. And then the hole is... The hole and balloon aren't too far away, and the... hole is kind of in the middle. The hole might take a little bit longer, depending on where people are. And then, one other thing is... This walkway. It's just a little, I guess, design thing is you'd have to jump up it instead of just walking up it, but that, that shouldn't hinder you too much at all. That doesn't really affect the ship. Okay, and I'm going to see how well it flies, and I will be right back. And I'm back. So, um, first thing is top speed. Um, seems okay. It doesn't seem that fast. Maybe it's just the ship. And, uh, of course I'm doing this without looking at any stats to actual ships. So, I rate it on what it feels like, not what it says it is. And this maneuverability feels pretty good again. Just like uh, the squid. Maybe a little bit slower, but it's still pretty good. Um, I think the firepower is pretty good. It's kind of like a mini galleon, I guess. Yeah, that's a short way to put it. And they are seem to be handling it just fine, since of course it's only training dummies. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now I just have to rate it. This one I'm gonna do it's gonna be uh, seven out of ten again. Um, just the fact that it's kind of in the mid tier. It's not like super awesome. It's kind of just middle. I guess it's average. Just the way it feels doesn't really feel right for me. And of course, I'm, most of these scores are actually gonna be. Like probably above, hopefully above 5 out of 10 because, you know, they do um, try to make this ship so they're balanced and like one of them doesn't suck and the other one's looking amazing and everyone does that ship. It's whatever's best for you. Like this ship, I probably wouldn't be too good in. But others I might be in. There might be. And like, um, there's a few that would need a good crew. And if you don't have a good crew, the ship kind of sucks. So like average staff and stuff won't show that. Oh, I'm going to go and move on to the next ship and I'll be right back. And we are back with the goldfish. Um, and this is, uh, a ship I thought was really amazing in practice and, I don't know, I think it is. It's a pretty cool ship. And it's, uh, I'll see the maneuverability and speed again. But, um, it's not mine. I didn't think it would be great because that's another you need a good crew thing. Like, it's not that hard to manage, but, and, like, keep prepared, but fighting-wise, if you're fighting a galleon, a galleon in this thing, you better hope you have a good fighting team or whatever, and hope, hope you're good, you're a good pilot and know how to be faced and how to dodge right and stuff, because if a galleon, galleon shoots you with a, well, I just call them Hamachis, I forgot what they're called, of course, but, um, with one of those, it does a lot of damage to you, so, um, usually in online matches, when I'm fighting a galleon, I usually get stuck in a, I guess, turning war, and that's just my definition of whatever, or a turning war, is you have a big ship in the middle that just sits here, it doesn't move, and just turns, or maybe moves a little, trying to shoot you, and your galleon doesn't have any on the front, so it has to turn to shoot you, and the back one, it only has like one back one, so, it would have to just sit there and turn, but since you're the small nimble ship, but you don't do a whole lot of damage, 
you you're the one that's orbiting yeah short way to put it orbiting the galleon trying to avoid its shots and possibly shooting them but thing is you don't do enough damage to it and they repair too quickly that's the experience I've had and they eventually just chop you down they might get slowly damage your inner hole until you end up blowing up all right well I will be back in a bit because I'm gonna see how well this flies again and we're back and a little bit more flying around in the goldfish and so far like it's uh of course it's a small ship it'll get obliterated like it works yeah unless you really know what you're doing etc of course it has really good maneuverability and feels like it has really good speed I believe it does just it probably it doesn't have a whole lot of survivability I guess just dodging because if you get hit it does hurt and um it's I guess a long ship but it is pretty easy to repair the only one that might be a problem is the back engine everything else is kind of just close together you might have to like, walk into a weird place though like the bottom engine but other than that, it's a pretty good one. Like I said, um, pra practice. This is actually like my most favorite ship in practice. But online, it's probably one of my least favorites. Just because that fa or the fast that said just fighting smaller ships is fine in online, but fighting the bigger ships, it's just like, I feel so small and puny, I'm gonna die. At least that's how I feel. So I'm gonna give the goldfish. Trying to think this over. Cause I'm not sure because, like I said, practice good, online bad. You probably be doing hopefully online more than practice because that's where the actual game is. Unless you just like practice, practice scene or whatever, just fine because then it would actually be a pretty good ship. But I'm gonna give out a uh, six out of ten for like on online and stuff. If, if you have a really good crew, of course, it's gonna be higher same as every ship or if you have a bad crew it's going to be lower just how it feels I'm like oh god I hate this ship if you have a really bad crew but if you have awesome and killing everything you're like oh I love this um but in practice like I said it's a pretty fun ship so I'm in this one I'm going to divide up it's going to be 6 out of 10 but if you have like good people or you really know what you're doing or practice or any of that it's going to be an 8 out of 10 just because this is pretty fun, but I've done it online before and I didn't like it very much. Okay, well, I'm going to move on to the next ship and I will be right back. And we're back. Uh, hopefully you can't hear any rain outside, it's raining pretty nasty. Eh, it's not that bad. But, um... It, well, if you do, then just hold on for two more ships and then we'll be done. But, now this is the new ship and I do like it. I haven't done it online. Um, I just, yeah, I just haven't gotten to that yet, but I think it's a pretty neat ship. I haven't, um, like most ships I've least done engineer on, or most, like there's a, like one or two I haven't, just, um, besides this one. Um, like I know it's a little bit weird how it works, because you have to hop down there for that one and then the hole and then you have to hop down the other side to get to the balloon and the other one the other engine main engine is right there so main engine is pretty easy to get to same with all the turrets it's just um the um yeah these bits are a little bit harder to get to but i think it's a pretty nice um chip and that's about it and i'll be back after i fly it around a bit and i am back all right so Another thing, it's a, it is a pretty small ship, so it has pretty good speed and pretty good maneuverability again. And then, this one, just like the Spire, which is the last one, is all front weapons, so... Er, unlike the Spire, like the Spire uh, is mostly front weapons, has like one pointing to the right. This ship is all front, except the outside one kind of curved, so it's not just this direction, it's kind of over there too-ish. But not like all the way over there side turrets and um just like every other small ship probably not the best in durability yeah i'm not looking at stats and 
training don't or practice don't take a whole lot of damage. So I'm guessing, you know, it could be like a mini tank flying around for all I know. But um, I'm going to just rate this one now. This one's going to be a quick one. It's a deep ship, so this one's going to be an eight out of ten. Just niftiness and it's kind of nice. Just that thing is having to go down to the engines. Not too bad, but it's it's not a perfect ship. And be back for the last ship, the Spire. And we're back with the Spire. Um, this one was was um, well, my favorite ship. Um, for quite a while, it still might be. Is um, I thought it was good in online and it, it was fun. I just thought it was awesome because I always wanted to do a big ship. Um, now, because this is my personal favorite, doesn't mean it's the best ship I think there is. It's just I got I've gotten used to it and it's the one I'm best at. Um, for repairing, it's like an up and down ship, so you can you can jump down at some points some points you have to walk or um, there is a ladder right here which is pretty fast way down so um, the fact that things are kind of far apart up and down really doesn't hinder the ship because um, you got the two side engines right here um, you know you got the, tur uh, the turrets right here there is um, flamethrowers pointing to the left and then there's a down up there pointing to the right so it's mostly balanced it, it, it is a little bit weird like um when you're up when you're up piloting like um it feels like it's only pointing right but the flamethrower is on the left and i believe i said something about that my mistake now i don't remember if i said something about that i did myself at least um yeah pretty nifty ship um i always thought it was really good for ramming it, i don't know it, feel, it feels good but it, it's a big ship. I don't know if it does that much ramming damage. Um, the speed, of course, like it's a big ship again, but I believe it is pretty good speed. And maneuverability is, I think, good for its size, but it still takes quite a while to turn around. I believe it's a little bit get better than Galleon, but uh, not much. And then, like speed, like, this is. Uh, let's actually wait for a second. This is pretty much the max speed right here, so it's not the fastest ship, but it's uh, okay speed, speed. Bad maneuverability, not the worst though. And well, I've never, I've always thought the armor is good. It's, well, it's considered the glass cannon, which I guess means it it doesn't have a whole lot of armor. I always think it's pretty good, but I'm pretty sure it's not. That's just how I've gotten used to it. Because the first ship I actually did in online that I piloted. Um, one thing I really like, because it's just, com just common sense for me to ram, even, or to ram ships. So, and usually with this one, I end up going down, so I ram with the balloon, or that point right there. Because the nice thing about this game, it just seems like it does more damage at least. And if the balloons ever go out, um, of course, I've said this on a different ship, is you're going to be falling, you're not going to really be able to go anywhere, and you probably want to not die on the ground. So you just turn around, hit it, and then go right back. No, hole you don't have much control over because that's all the way at the bottom. So um, it's easy to get down to really fast, but getting back up takes a little bit more time. And yeah, because um, I've been flying this ship a bit, and I've already said that it, or everything is, you know, maneuverability, eh, speed, okay, um, and of course the turrets you're probably going to use are on the front like the turrets aren't like it doesn't have the most firepower but it's pretty nice is you have a cannon right down there and a um, weapon right there and then the two side ones it, it's just uh not the most even ship ever so yeah this one it is it is my favorite but of course it's the one i kind of started with so it's going to be my favorite but it's not going to be highest rated this one I'm going to do an 8 out of 10 also. This one I don't really believe you really, I mean, you need engineers like that at least know what they're doing, but like weapons and stuff you really don't need to worry about. Like everyone needs to be pro at weapons and stuff. Because it will, it will do something, but 
it, it is always best to have, like, pro people at this. Um, alright, well, I'm gonna move on to the ending, and I'm gonna review all the, uh, ratings I did again. I'm gonna have to watch the video again, because I only wrote half of them down. Because I'm just going, as I go, I'm not gonna spend, like, five hours on it. I'm just going how I think it is at the current time. And we will be right back. Okay, and we are back. Um, I'm gonna put all the ratings in the description, uh, below. Hopefully you know that. If, if you don't, it's okay. The, the description's down there somewhere. It's not that hard to find. I'm sure you'll manage. But, my favorite ship out of all of them, like I said, my favorite ship is, is the Spire. The highest rated, I believe, is the Squid, which is 9 out of 10. I'm gonna go over that again. I'll have any annotations of stuff I change or did wrong, said wrong, because they're doing this, you know, you just don't say stuff you mean to, usually. Because I could say something like, this ship sucks, but I'm like, actually, this is a good ship, that just came out wrong. And I just hit my mic, sorry for that. Um, but the ship, the ship I would recommend, like, these are all my opinions. You might think all these ships suck, except, like, this one, which I thought sucked, or something like that. But, my, like, yeah, the ship I would recommend, I don't know if it would be the Squid, because that one you'd probably need people to know how to do, and fights and stuff, it probably, like, there's two ships I'm kind of, um, bouncing, is, um, a big ship and a light ship, because I just, I have to have one or the other, I can't have, like, oh, this big one's the best, or whatever, but there's also good small ships, it depends which one you like more, the big ships or the small ships, the small ship I would recommend was be the squid, because the small ships generally have less firepower, but if you like the small ships and you know what you're doing and all that, they can be really good. The big ship I would recommend would be um, the Galleon, just because the firepower on it, and the Spire is um, less firepower. It is, I don't know, that's my favorite, I'd say it's more friendly, but because um, the Galleon has a lot more firepower, it's, you don't have to worry too much about your crew being freaking amazing on that, because as long as they can sh point and shoot and hit, you're gonna do some, like, a more than usual damage. And I'll leave any annotations if I forgot anything. And please like or subscribe, it will help me a lot. And goodbye, everyone.